Megan Thee Stallion is letting her voice be heard once again, but this time it isn't on wax, it's in print. The WAP rapper has penned an op-ed for the New York Times in which she speaks up for black women. She marches for everyone else, riots for everyone else, dies for everyone else. She loves everyone else, lives for everyone else. <laughs> but when it comes down to her, it ain't a mother Insight. The opinion piece is a strong stance from Megan, and we'd expect nothing less from the hot girl. MTS opened up about the violence she faced at the hands of Tory Lanez, but omitted his name entirely. She spoke eloquently about what black women face when they do go public and reflected on how it happens in the first place, stating, Violence against women happens because too many men treat all women as objects, which helps them to justify inflicting abuse against us when we choose to exercise our own free will. Megan also talked about the criticism she faced after taking Kentucky's Attorney General Daniel Cameron to task for his egregious mishandling of Breonna Taylor's case. I'm not afraid of criticism, she stated. We live in a country where we have the freedom to criticize elected officials. And it's ridiculous that some people think the simple phrase, protect black women, is controversial. We deserve to be protected as human beings. And we are entitled to our anger about a laundry list of mistreatment and neglect that we suffer. The op-ed ended with Megan hopeful that Kamala Harris's candidacy for vice president will usher in a new era. But the glimmer of enthusiasm ended with a bleak realization. We know that after the last ballot is cast and the vote is tallied, we are likely to go back to fighting for ourselves because at least for now, that's all we have. What are your thoughts on Megan's op-ed? Let us know in the comments section below. For HipHollywood.com, I'm Vanessa Barnett.